T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. Happy the end, Dragon One. Vehicle is pitching down range. Not one more deep point. Telemetry nominal. At T plus 45 seconds, Falcon 9 has cleared the towers, and the final Dragon 1 flight is underway. Everything looking nominal Falcon for Falcon 9 is one. supersonic. We heard the call out that the vehicle is supersonic. Stage one, landing leg deploy. <laughs> and the Falcon has landed for the 50th time in SpaceX history. Two, what an amazing live view all the way to touchdown. What an awesome view of our first stage for the 50th time. Minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition.
It's T plus 40 seconds, and we've just had liftoff of our Falcon 9 vehicle, taking Power our Starlink payload to its targeted deployment orbit. We are now throttling down and throttling back up in preparation for Max-Q, which is coming up here in about 10 seconds or so. Max-Q is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle sees throughout ascent, okay, so this is the largest solid. structural load that the vehicle will see. Should hear that call out in about five seconds. Maximum aerodynamic pressure. So we did get confirmation of deployment. And there is that live view. So you can see on your screen, the satellites are slowly separating, separating away from the second stage. And over the next few weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and eventually use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their final orbit. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We have ignition and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with AEHF 6 on the first mission for the United States Space Force. Beginning the pitch over program. Passing 15 seconds for the flight. PU has gone to close loop control. Yardy 180 is throttling down to 67 percent thrust as expected. Engine response looks good. Passing 30 seconds into flight. 35 seconds into flight. Mach 1 Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Engine operating parameters look nominal. Passing 45 seconds into flight. Passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The RD-180 is throttling back up to 94% as expected. Engine response looks good. Coming up on one minute into flight, SRB chamber pressures remain nominal at this time. The vehicle is uh, 10 miles in altitude, uh, 6 miles downrange, traveling at 2,300 miles per hour. Five seconds into flight, the RD-180 is throttling to 75% thrust as expected. Standing by, standing by for SRB sh burnout shortly. <laughs> 